Hi, we're going to start out standing today. Let's get set up with the feet parallel about hip width apart. Start with your arms hanging by your sides and I'm going to take you right into a breathing and movement warm up with a flexion back up to standing. When you exhale, drop your chin, curl forward and let your knees bend a little, almost like you're just deflating and sinking to the floor. Inhale, roll back up to your standing neutral. And again, exhale, let your shoulders round forward, let the arms hang and then inhale back up and exhale, curl forward. Now this time, as you inhale, we're gonna roll up, but I want you to lift your arms, look up at your hands, and then as you exhale, let them swing down. Inhale, rise up, and exhale to lower. So we're still going slow, but I want you to have a sense of a, a, little, uh, uh, a little direction change, a little bounce, where you hang out at the bottom using the swing of the arms to help propel you back up to stand. Exhale, collapsing. You'll notice a little rock at the bottom, then the inhale as you fill with the air. Exhale, sink, softening the upper body. Inhale, lift. One more time, curl down. And inhale, up. All right, let your arms circle down. With them still feeling kind of loose by your sides, let's put another small bend in your knees, but this time you're gonna wrap your arms around you to twist. Come back to center. Treat the movement uh, more like a plie, where we are still flexing all the joints of the legs, but you're keeping your torso vertical and just following the rotation. And let's do six more of these. Play around with the arms, floating up, softening to wrap around you. And one more to each side. And then relax. All right, couple shoulder rolls. That was a few, take them the other way. <laughs> and now make them alternate to put a little twist through the upper body. Reverse that, throw it forward. Let your head and neck turn with you just to make it looser and relax. All right, let's head over to your mat. I want you to stand at one end of it. We'll do another roll down to work our way down to the ground. I'm going to have you start out on an exhale, nodding your chin and curling forward. As you put that same bend in your knees, let's go down enough so you can reach the floor easily. And then I'm going to have you walk your hands out all the way to a plank. And then from there, walk your hands back in, but by piking your hips up like you're going to a downward dog. And then walk out to your plank again. And then pike your hips up, walk your hands back in. Now I'm not cueing you through breath because I expect that to take longer than one breath cycle. Let's keep doing it. Make sure you're breathing is my point. Go up to the piked hips again. Try to stick your sit bones up. Your spine's gonna flex a little bit, but minimize that. Really try to reach long through your back. And now I want you to alternate pushing one heel down and then the other. And make that opposition of the sit bone pointing up to the ceiling to give you a better traction and stretch through the back of the leg. Now, throw a little hip twist into it. So you can kind of collapse into the bending knee side. So you're still pushing that opposite heel down. And let's do four and three and two and one. All right, I want you to bend your knees a little so you can walk your hands back into your feet. Roll yourself back up. All right, we're gonna go down again. But I'm gonna get you into more of like a hovering quadruped position. So if you need to do that with your wrists a little, go for it. All right, drop your chin down again, curl towards the floor, letting your knees bend. All right, so now as you walk out, let's try to pose that hovering knee. Higher makes it easier, lower makes it harder. So you got a broad spectrum of how you can land your body. Now we're gonna try to balance on three limbs. So one foot, two hands to be specific. And I want you to pick your other leg up off the mat. Try to draw a circle with that leg while maintaining stability through the rest of your body. We're gonna do two more in this direction. Hopefully that'll give you a set of four and then four the other way. Again, making sure you're breathing, reinforcing, drawing the abs in to give you a little more core support. One more time, put that leg down, walk it back, get your weight over your feet, roll back up. All right, again, with the other leg. Roll the wrist a couple times. Here we go, drop your chin, 
curl towards the floor, big bend to the knees so you can get down to the ground. Walk out, little bear walk, find your hover. All right, wide fingers. Plant the weight into the three limbs, push away from the floor, and then take your other leg up. And let's draw that circle, going around, back, and in. Monitor how much you're opening out to the side. That's really your biggest uh, plane to be unstable right now. When you get down, reverse it for the other way. And then back, out, and around. Last two. And one. Get that foot down. Walk it back in. Weight onto your heels. Roll back up. Swing your arms up and down like you have big wings. Like that. You don't have to turn, but... <sighs> Oh, like definitely breathe now. Like inhale, follow those arms going up, exhale down. And again, inhale up, exhale down. Just one more time, lifting and lower back down. Yes, we are gonna walk down one more time, just as a transition. Drop your chin, curl to the floor, bend your knees, walk it out. Okay, now coming on down to your knees. One more rotation before we head to your back. Give me a little thread the needle. You're gonna reach one arm under the other, sitting back towards your heels, and then return to the middle. And the other side, twisting, and then center. Make sure you get those hips back. That's gonna give you space to let your shoulder fall. And forward, one more to each side. Twisting, and middle, and twisting, and middle. All right, let's head down onto your back. Okay, when you plant yourself, set your feet a little wider than usual. So they're about as wide as the mat. We're gonna begin with some hip rolls uh, with the additional challenge of turning your legs in and out. Rest your arms by your sides. On your exhale breath, start to curl your pelvis off the mat, rocking through imprint to initiate it. As you're rolling up into your bridge, drop your knees together so you get this medial rotation. You'll feel a nice little pull in the outer thigh. Now, as you roll back down, sink your ribs first. Begin to open the knees as you're flexing the spine into the mat. Finish turning out the knees right as you roll back to neutral. So it's an exhale. Begin to curl the hips off and the legs are gradually turning in, trying to keep time with the spinal articulation. So both end at the same time. We have that midline energy, that lifting energy. Now sink back down, softening the chest. Start to turn your knees out. Try to land in your imprint first and then unravel, stable through those wide legs. One more like this. Exhale, curl off as you're turning the legs in. Feel that spiraling of the leg within the hip, abs contracting at the top, and then roll down, allowing your breath into your back. Let your knees turn back out three more, but let's switch the pattern. Start with your legs together. I mean, knees knocked together, feet still wide. On the exhale, curl off again, and now you're turning your knees out as you lift. And that should let you like really kick in to more contraction from the glutes. Then as you roll back down, we're gonna let the knees turn in, pass through that imprint, so we get a nice stretch in the low back, knees knocked together, you come back to neutral. Exhale, curl your hips off as you rotate the legs out and then roll back down, turning your knees in. When you start this one, do the pelvic tilt while your knees are still together. So then we get this like moment of nice stretch right there to start, then let the knees turn out. Just wanna miss the best part. And then roll back down, get those knees together as you're landing and rocking back to neutral. All right, bring your legs into a more parallel alignment. Let's take your arms up to the ceiling. And let's do a set of arm scissors alone, and then we'll add some legs to it. When you exhale, reach one arm overhead and the other arm down towards your hip. As you inhale, take them both above your chest, and then exhale, scissor them away. Inhale, back up. Exhale as the arms separate. Inhale, back to the center. As they scissor, focus on using your breath to keep the ribs stable and neutral. One more on each side. Exhale to split them. Inhale, lift, and exhale to split Inhale, lift. All right, we're gonna do a version of the dead bug now. When you exhale, rock into an imprinted position. So that's just a slight tilt to your pelvis so your low back's a little longer towards the mat. Now maintain that and lift one leg to tabletop as you breathe in. When you exhale, compress the abs to stabilize this position and bring up your second leg. 
we're going to alternate reaching one leg out at a time, same side as the arm that's going overhead. So we'll take an exhale breath, arm scissor, and one leg goes out on the diagonal. Inhale, we pull it in as you lift the arms, then we switch, exhale away. Inhale, back up. Exhale as you scissor. Inhale to lift, and exhale, reach apart. Inhale in. One more on each side like this, and then we're going to do more, but we're going to hold a crunch. Here we go. So you're going to curl up your head, exhale, reach the limbs out. Now leave your head lifted. We come through the middle, and exhale, reach away. Through center, exhale, scissor, to middle, and scissor, to middle. And let's do four, center, and three, center, two, and one more time. All right, let your head back down. Draw your knees in towards your chest. Let's go back to feet down into that wider stance that we used for your hip rolls. And I want you to bring your hands together, palms together, over your chest. If that's not comfortable on your chest, as close together as you can while still being comfortable. Let's do a little more crunching. Take your arms overhead. Again, it doesn't matter how far, just as long as your shoulders don't hurt, you're good. When you exhale, lead with your arms, then nod your chin and curl up your head and shoulders till you're at the bottom tip of the blades. Then inhale, lower down and reach your arms overhead. Exhale, curl forward, gazing in between the knees. Inhale to come back down. <clears throat> exhale, tip your chin down, breathe your ribs towards your hips. Inhale to lower. One more time like that. Exhale, flex up. Inhale back down. Now I'm gonna alternate more of an oblique diagonal crunch. So now as I exhale, I'll use that same chopping action, but just wider than my knee. And down, hey, and remember, your legs are wider than usual. Go to the other side. So when I say just wider than your knee, I really mean it. <laughs> and then back down. Exhale, let your gaze follow your hands so the upper body rotates with you. Inhale, lower. And exhale, crunch. Let's do one more like this to each side. Nod the chin to start flexing forward. Inhale, down. And exhale, crunch up. Inhale, back down. Now let's do a longer set where we stay up but alternate side to side. So let's come up to the center first. Exhale to the middle and just pause. Now, kind of like you're drawing a rainbow, we're going to go to one side. Inhale as you come over the middle. Exhale on the chopping. Inhale on the up and exhale on the down of the rainbow. And exhale. And let's do one more to each side. And then you're going to come back to the center, lower back down. All right, set leading in the other direction. Still flexing up through the middle. Let's take an inhale, start to take the arms up. Exhale, chop it down. Inhale through center and chop. Now that you know the motion, try to feel this from the back of your body. I'm on both shoulder blades, then crunching forward, pivoting on one, visiting both, pivoting forward forward on the bottom tip of the other. One more to each side. So we get that rotation and an increase of the flexion. Come back to the middle. Lower down. All right. Now we're going to add a rotation with your upper body. Now this is like shocking, but it gets, gets differently different again. All right. Lead off with the same move now. I'm going to crunch up to center. And now a little more playfully, switching lead side again. I'm just going to go one side to the other. One side to the other. I'm going to do one more round. And as I come around to this next side, I'm going to let both legs fall. I'm going to turn onto my side and pause there. And I want you to just hang out for a second. Let your top knee bounce a little bit. Pretend there's a little ball under your leg and you're just kind of playfully creating this impulse. All right, come back to the center, lower back down. Let's try another set of that going to the other side. So I'm going to crunch up and then just begin that rocking one side to the other one side to the other one more time one side let's fall over kind of land in my head between my arms and just playfully kind of flop 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 i love when i get to say flop 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 in an exercise class nothing makes me happier no matter what i've ever told you before all right here we go back to the center lower back down let's do one more of those to each side curl up First direction, I'm going to go one side to the other. It's like kind of, I forgot all about the abs. One side <laughs> to the other. I like the flop. One side. Here we go. Flopping over. Fall to your side. Get support for your head. 
and just playfully bounce that knee. If it helps you, say, boing, 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 boing. See, it works. All right. Let's go back to the middle. Swoop and lay back down. One more round. Flex up. Let's twist it from one side to the other. One side to the other. Last round. One side. Here comes the fall. Flop onto your side. Swing those arms around and then just bounce it out. Do you feel like one side that's bouncier than the other? I definitely do. This right side's like ready to party. Left side, it's not love this. All right, back to the middle. Yep, and then back down. All right, I want you to turn over onto your stomach. Oh, uh, when you get there, legs parallel, about hip width apart. Take on the W position with your arms. Uh, we're going to start with the breaststroke prep, and then I'm going to throw a little shake it into it, so just be ready for that. Not right away, but it's coming. All right, two breath pattern to begin. I'm um, trying to decide my feet. You know what? Can you take your toes, curl them under, unless that's horribly uncomfortable, but if that works, go for it. It's great to extend your toes once in a while. On your inhale. Lead with your gaze lifting and start to peer towards the edge of your mat. Lift your head and your chest, draw your shoulder blades back and down, and keep lifting up to you're at the bottom rib or two. Then as you exhale, lower back down one rib at a time, then your neck and head. I can't believe I how much I just said for how small this motion was. <laughs> Inhale, elongate your neck, start to press away from the floor. Try to push your chest forward as you push your forearms down into the mat. And then exhale, compress your abs, sink your ribs, and lower back down. Inhale, lift up. Use your breath to feel open through the front of the body. And then exhale, deflate. Feel your body soften to release back down. I want you to come up one more time. Breathe in, gazing off the edge of your mat, trying to get that extension through the upper back. Now, pause here. And if you feel any strain in your low back at all, I want you to come off of this by just a little bit and notice how it changes. All right, so we're gonna stay at this height, still with that overall extension, and I want you to start an impulse shaking forward backwards on the mat. I am making this happen with a push-pull between my forearms and my toes. It does feel like I am trying to make friction and rub my belly on the floor. Although your shoulders are moving, try to keep that general stability where the shoulder blades are drawn back and down into the V and the chest is nice and wide. And while keeping a little extension in your neck, reach the base of your skull away from your shoulder blades. So I'm long and lifted. Almost there. This is so great for your guts. And lower back down. I'm not just saying that. It's really so great for your guts. All right, we're gonna go back up into that position again, and we're gonna play with our superhero position. So head and chest away from the mat. Give me that 90% lift you just used on the last exercise. This is your new starting position. If you're sick of your toes being that way, you can bring them here, because I don't need them the other way anymore. On your exhale, lower down into a hovering position and take the arms overhead into your superhero pose. Inhale, bend your elbows, push back up. Exhale, dive down to superhero. Inhale as you lift. Exhale, dive down low. Inhale up, go to superhero, stay there. Okay, take your right arm and leg and try to move them over to the left side. Come back to center, no other way. Left limbs move and back to center like your necks. Right limbs move, center, left moves. Center, one more each side, right and middle, left and middle, bend those elbows, lower yourself down. All right, sit back in a shell stretch, hips on your heels. I wanna side bend it again here, but just get in a regular shell first. Cause that was like a hard side bend. So take a nice big breath into your back. I mean, hard for like where we were. <laughs> Exhale, pull your abs in. I know some of you mu know much harder side bends than that, but. Again, nice big breath in. <sighs> exhale. I might as well participate. <laughs> Take one more breath in. Then on your next exhale, bend your right elbow into your side. And on your inhale, take your other arm across. Take a nice big rainbow stretch. 
Exhale, tuck that elbow in, and then inhale, reach your other arm across. Exhale to your hip. Inhale, nice big stretch for the shoulder. Exhale, tuck. Inhale, reach over. One more to each side. And stretch. Back to the middle. And reach. Come to center. Roll yourself back up again. All right, I'm going to sit. I'm going to roll back a little. You can go with a flat foot or toes up if you prefer that. Let's reach your arms out at chest height. And then I want you to flex your spine so you're curled over your knees. When you get here, try to stay on your sit bones, just like wobble around, feel them. So now you have a reference point of when we say get back up. This is where I want you to land again. Let's just try the rocking. On your exhale, curl from the sit bones, roll to the back of them and start rolling off of them towards your sacrum, rounding your lower spine down towards the mat. Now stay C-shaped, curl forward till you're back on your sit bones. And just like wheels on a track, roll back, just pretend like, like train tracks, roll back and back and back and back. Now we wanna curl forward, try to feel them getting under you and get right to the front of them. Exhale, roll back. Inhale, round forward, one more like this. Try to feel the compression of your breath help you maintain that C shape and dive forward. All right, that's your rock. Let's add an arm circle. Exhale as you roll back. I want you to take your arms with you so they're in line with your ears. You're gonna circle them around on the inhale, dive forward. That makes it a little harder. Roll back, your arms become part of the load you're traveling with and then curl forward. So you should feel this more in your abs. Your glutes should have to work harder to tuck and curl forward. Let's go the other way. Roll back on the exhale as you make the circle. Now right here it gets hard. Inhale, arms go up, lead with them to dive forward. When you get right through that center part, roll back. So we notice it's harder, but oh my gosh, we wanna get out of it. <laughs> One more time. Roll back and then up and over. Okay, sit up straight. Right into an obliques roll back set from here. On your exhale, you're gonna sweep one arm down and back to twist to the side. Inhale, sweep it down and forward to come up. So the arm, uh, the direction of the arm, like drawing this big smiley face, helps you direct the right muscles to move your torso. We still wanna feel the rolling back off the sit bones. We haven't come out of the tracks. That's why I brought them up before. When you start to twist, so I've got the tuck, that's from the down, but the twist is coming from here, not the low back, back to the front. Exhale, roll back, feel the chest turn. And then back up, one more each side. Let your head and neck follow the chest into the twist. Lift, last one, roll back and lift back up. All right, uh, we're gonna roll down onto your back. So you're gonna go back to a straight leg. Just make sure you've left some room behind you. And before you start the roll, I want you to curl forward over your legs. As you exhale, start to roll your pelvis back. You're gonna keep your flexed, your feet flexed on this one so that you can still access the glutes to actively tuck you under and then reach your arms overhead. Take the arms back up to the ceiling. We're gonna do a full sit up, drop your chin, curl forward, maintain your C shape and reach forward. But see how I'm higher than my feet. You're always pretending you have clown shoes that you're trying to get over. And then roll back again, tucking the tail under, therefore tucking the pubic bone up and then unravel, reach your arms overhead. Inhale, arms up above your chest. Nod your chin, begin to curl up. You wanna make sure you're flexing your lower spine. So I'm trying to make this full C shape on the way up and reach towards the legs, roll back the pelvis, and then reach overhead. Okay, so now you have the bare bones of the moves. So let's think of those tracks again. So it's important to keep my legs parallel, whether they're together or separated, because as I go through here, you want the same feedback from half roll back that I get off the sit, sit bones, uh, off the sacrum onto the sit bones. And if you can't, bend your knees a little bit at the top. Then when you start to roll back, it would be natural to straighten your legs. You'll feel that right away. Keep tucking, stay even, and release. And that's why a part of why I cue reach out through the heels. If you can sense the whole line of the back of your legs, the relationship of your sit bones to the thighs all the way down to your feet, you can use that straightness, the energy, to feel the track the whole way down. Let's do one more full one. Arms up as you inhale, drop your chin, curl forward, 
reach towards the legs and roll yourself back unravel reach overhead one more time to come up arms up drop your chin curl forward and reach and then sit up tall all right into a tall kneel things have fallen down all right we're going to do a kneeling side kick next spread your hand you're going to put one hand on the floor even with your knee you're going to reach out the leg straight out to the side now the leg that you're balancing on turn it a little see how my foot's peeking out that will give you slightly better balance we are going to do leg circles with the top arm that i'm leaving here floppy all weird and the top leg so that's going to go to hip height leg parallel top arm up to the ceiling and tiny little circles for eight seven six five four three two reverse it for eight seven six five four three two one i want you to take your arm in line with your ear now bend your knee and your elbow and then reach away so it's going to be an inhale tuck exhale reach out inhale pull exhale press tuck back in reach away good check in on the floor limbs are you pushing away from the floor as much as you can that'll help to get the core to engage and keep you stable in your shoulder last one reach away leave the leg long hand to your forehead flex your foot kick your leg forward as you breathe in point your toes kick back I'm so sorry for this windy noise inhale forward I can't bail on the series though inhale exhale back three more times swing forward exhale back and two and back one more time and exhale back okay come out of it all I have to do is like turn the air from blow to suck and that goes away very space ballsy of me wasn't it okay hand we start with the hands bring it to the ground all right da -da 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 -da. fix up the foot where was this arm this arm should be here this leg should be here oh i'm already hotter from turning that hair around <laughs> little circles eight seven six five four three two reverse it eight seven six five make sure you're getting that back and up part of the circle that's the hardest hold there arm in line with your ear now bend on the inhale push away tuck and reach out in and x try to keep the leg at hip height you have four reach away foot flexes and points last two one more time leave it out hand to your forehead now we're going to flex that foot kick it forward on the inhale point your toes kick back on the exhale inhale front reach exhale back push out through the heel sweep back the leg three more times and two <laughs> one more time i am such a sensitive little baby come on out of that shake your wrist out a little bit i mean in my defense it says it's 84 degrees in that little temperature thing in my bumper okay you're going back down on your belly wine 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 it's what i love to do all right legs open a little bit starting position now you're going to be on one forearm with it turned i'm going to show it to you that way like that however i'm going to use my other arm first because that's the boring information <laughs> okay so you got that now take your other arm reach it out so that you're supported but ready to lift this back off the ground so this is going to already be a forearm plank on your other arm i want you to bend your elbow like we do in our bow and arrow moves and you're going to rotate trying to look over your shoulder and then return this is one that everyone if you could see everyone else <laughs> we all look really different when we do this so i'm just gonna go a little lower if you have a very forward head posture or you're rounded forward in your shoulders you might be more comfortable being low like that if you're a dancer and you're always trying to stand up super tall you might get a little higher <laughs> one more time okay now we're going to use that move to turn onto our side 
So I want you to pull the elbow back. We're going to begin that rotation, but then you're going to twist and stack your legs up and extend the arm. Now lift your leg, start to bring it down to pull you out of the rotation. We bend the elbow, reach forward. Okay, so timing. So I want you to take your time with this because of the timing. Start to draw the elbow back. I'm going to twist all the way over, stack my legs and extend the arm. I'm going to take the leg up. I'm going to twist so the leg drops, bend the elbow. That way we're just receiving the weight safely. It's a little harder to go down. One more time to practice that. So I'm going to start with the arm, pivot onto the hips, stack up and extend that top arm out. Then I'm going to bend the elbow. So I take that leg up, leg falls, hip spiral, shoulders, head. All right. Let's go from here into a little side bend. So now I'm going to pull back, rotate, turn onto the side, get the legs stacked up and extend the arm. Now I'm going to bend the knees and the elbows in, push up onto the forearm, side bend. I'm just going to tuck down, side bend up and over, tuck down, up and over. Two more times, tuck and reach, tuck and reach. Now come on back into the tuck, shoot out the arms and legs. We're going to go up with the leg, ready, let it drop, bend the elbow, twist the hip and then reach down. All right. It's nice how like that other arm gets that sneaky work the whole time. Is it okay that I'm turning away from you? I never know how to proceed here. Ah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. <laughs> Nothing matters. I can do what I want. All right. Let's speak of which. Let's just do that twist a few times. So I'm going to brace into the forearm, take my other arm off the ground. I'm going to bend the elbow and rotate and then return and tap the hand down to find that middle. And again, twist, looking over the shoulder. So in my own body, just for feedback, I can't keep the same height as the other side. So just do the best you can with your mechanics, trying to keep the lift from your upper back, which means if you're feeling your lower back, you got to get closer to the ground. One more time, pulling back, looking over the shoulder and return. All right, now let's just try the rotation onto the hip. I'm going to trust you because I can't see anymore. All right, now you're going to pull your elbow back. Start to twist onto the hip and then stack the leg and extend the arm out. Leg goes up. So we're going to bring it forward to drop it. Start to bend the elbow, twist the hips and land it back down. So I'm going to lift and pull back, press into the forearm, rotate onto the hips, stack up. So now let's think of those two points, forearm. So I'm going to lift the leg. I get the foot down and I'm going to lean on the forearm as I twist and drop one more time coming up to rotate spiral onto the side stack your legs reach your arm up and then leg goes up I'm gonna start to twist foot down bend elbow come in here with control to drop the hips and lower all right our fun little side bend now let's pull that elbow back twist stack your legs shoot that arm up for a second make sure you're strong over the forearm now you're gonna bend your knees and elbows so I'm tucked in and then I'm going to go from here into that small side bend onto the forearm and then drop the hips back down. We've got five of these to do up and over, letting your head fall and lower back down. Brace into that forearm, slide down your working shoulder as you side bend and lower two more times up and over and drop up and over and drop. Okay, so we're going to reach up and out with the arms and the legs. Get propped up on that forearm, lift the top leg, start to bring it forward. We're going to twist, elbow bent, strong landing on the pelvis, lower back down. Who needs a shell stretch? I do, I do. All right, sit back onto your heels, flex spine. Nice big breath in here. Get really round through your mid back. Hold for an exhale, compress those abs a little deeper. One more breath in, roll up on your exhale. When I start to sing, it means I'm also starting to rush. We went too long, it's all right. All right, we're gonna finish with spine stretch forward. Which I'm gonna do this way, fan. Okay, leave a little space in between your legs. Legs can be straight or slightly bent at the knees, but once again, we wanna get the starting position right up on the front of the sit bones. Take an inhale breath to prepare. When you exhale, drop your chin and start to round forward, sliding your hands down towards your feet. 
hold here, take a breath in at the bottom. When you exhale, you're gonna roll back up. Compress your abs as you're stacking your spine. Imagine you're sitting right up onto a wall, open your chest, lift your chin. Inhale, grow taller. Exhale, drop your chin, curl forward, softening the neck and shoulders. You wanna release in the upper body, still find that support around your waist. Hold here, feel your back, expand with that air, and then exhale, roll back up. One more time, inhale at the top, and then tip your chin down, flex forward, gliding the hands to the legs. One more breath in to hold, and then exhale to roll back up. Bump, bump, all done. Have a great day. See you later.